Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Make This Keto where I take my non-keto twin sister, Amber, and take her to a restaurant and see what she would normally get and then figure out how to make that keto. And today, by popular request, we are at, burr, 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 can you see it? Double Dragon, which you guys like, just so basically insert any basic Chinese restaurant, wherever you are, yeah. we have them, they're everywhere, you know? So a lot of people were like, how do you make Chinese keto? And I was like, that's actually a good question. Now full transparency, last time when we went to Smash Burger, and you can see that right here, um, I had like peeped out the menu and I knew they had keto options and I, and I knew what to do. Like we are just winging it. Like I literally don't know what they're gonna say when we get in there. This footage might never see the light of day, you know? So we're just gonna head in there, honestly, see what they got and see if we can make a keto. guys to our utter shock after viewing this extensive menu my sister happened upon the section you see that? it specifically says healthy food which which leads me to wonder like what is all the food that's not in that section you know because they use 10 pages long <laughs> the healthy food section <laughs> blink past it so we already know where this is going but that leads me to think that we will find something. It won't be a total buzz. Yes. We are definitely gonna have to change drastically. I feel what you would normally get. Oh. But we still will. Yeah, you completely know. what I would get. But we will still Two words, crab and <laughs> I mean. We will still be able to eat here. So like, what would you normally get at a place like this? Like, and, and you know, you guys, like, even though the menu's 45 pages, like, you literally come in here knowing exactly what you want. I mean, like, like I said, I'm an app girl when it comes to the Chinese restaurants. Crab raccoon, also the steamed dumplings, and like egg rolls, I mean egg rolls. Egg rolls, not egg roll in a bowl, you guys. Egg roll in a roll. Yeah, so like yeah. they're definitely all of those. So like sweet and sour chicken, sweet and sour shrimp, lo mein noodles. Um, literally those have the word sweet as the very first word of the dish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna holler at that as a no. So just a little, um, for the healthy food section, steamed chicken with broccoli, steamed chicken with mixed vegetables, steamed chicken with snow peas, steamed shrimp with mixed vegetables, and then uh, an option that I'm embarrassed to even attempt to say, but it has more vegetable in it. So. No, that's just tofu, and oh, we're- it's tofu. <laughs> <laughs> they put a space in it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give it to her. Like, don't, please don't show them that it really does just say tofu. <laughs> and I can't that's the problem with a place like this. Like, you're just legit never gonna know what ingredients are in anything. Like what is in your General Tso's chicken sauce? What is in the savory white sauce? Will they even be able to tell? We'll never I don't the know. Light of death exactly. Really in. Nutrition label where? I do have sugar-free teriyaki sauce in my backpack. If they didn't even let us eat here, y'all, because they're gonna put us out, no else up for their drink <laughs> inside the restaurant. But if they don't have any sugar-free options. So, I mean, look guys, we take our own sweetener everywhere, okay? We be carrying packs of monk fruit and stevia everywhere. Why not teriyaki sauce? We are not above taking our own hot sauces in our purse. So, exactly. we out here. Travel size. Uh, it's not necessarily travel size. It's like the full bottle. Yeah, the full kitchen size. <laughs> exactly. It's in my backpack. The beef, like not leave your home. Yeah, exactly. Um, but you know, a lot of the entrees are just like a meat and a vegetable, but in a sauce. But every, like, can't be doing any sauces, bro. Rice, noodles, one or the other you're having with your meal. And your meal is usually breaded. Mm. And the meat is just chicken. You're right, the bread, bread, the meat is usually better. Oh, that's something to keep in mind with like any chicken over here. The steamed chicken also is probably not gonna have a coating. Where's steamed chicken at? And the healthy, and the healthy Oh yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, I know. I've tried to get that <laughs> back here. So it doesn't come like with any like, sauce or anything on the chicken, right? Yeah, yeah, chicken what's the one? Yes, chicken with mixed, uh, mixed vegetables. Steam, right? Steam, yeah. But, no, 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 right. no sauce on the side. Sauce on the side, please. Oh, okay. Great, thank you. Hold on, what's that, what's that wrist looking like? Oh, whoa, whoa. Can we see that? Can we can we focus on that right now? Sweat off, fleek. The uh. <laughs> I would also like the steamed chicken with broccoli. 
Yes, and I have a question. As a general rule, can you order like anything off the menu with the sauce on the side? Or like the sauce on the side? Okay. Uh, chicken stick fry. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Chicken is deep fried, but you can get the sauce on the side. Okay, but I'll take the steamed chicken with broccoli, no rice. Now, is there anything I can substitute for the rice? Uh, we're making more chicken. Mm, more chicken. Oh, okay. Replace the carb with protein, if you will. Um, Don't worry, him. I'll give you my chicken. I was gonna say, I want more chicken. Okay, guys. So if you could hear up there, when I got my steamed chicken and broccoli, it normally came with a side of rice. So I asked for it with no rice because duh. Uh, and then I asked if I could substitute with some other side because it comes with a side. If I'm not getting one, maybe I want another. And he said that he just adds more chicken and broccoli and like that is super key because I know that an issue that a lot of us have with ordering out at a restaurant is that you have to omit like half of the meal but you're still paying the full price if you know what I'm talking about like you get fajitas but you can't have them tortillas what's the whole point you know so the fact that they're able to substitute with more vegetables and give you a larger portion is like a super thumbs up so don't be afraid to ask for substitutions uh, if you're not getting the rice Okay guys, so in lightning speed, uh, we got our food. Uh, to be honest, I got chicken with broccoli and she got chicken with uh, mixed vegetables and they look the exact same. The so exact same. I'm, maybe there's more vegetables under there, but regardless, it's hot and it looks good. So let's dig in. Let's also talk about this. Juice. It looks, let's talk about this vat of sauce that they gave us. It's kind of bland to be completely honest, but it might. But I mean, that's because it's supposed to be soaked in this sauce like this it's all hard to be ashamed of this i mean this is a vat this is, this is a ridiculous amount. Right? Taste the no we can taste it but don't worry g hughes and she just has it sitting out on the table like we, so, i mean we're in a corner we're being discreet i'm embarrassed okay i'm definitely going to taste my sauce yeah i'm eating this <laughs> okay this is make, fun of make this to mostly keto. <laughs> Can we tell the story about the fortune cookie? Sure. What, what's the story about the fortune cookie? You take your fortune cookie, you open it up, you read your fortune, you say it out loud, and then you add the two words at the end that make all fortunes sound like the words are in bed, ladies and gentlemen. When I read my fortune later, tell me that the words in bed at the end of my fortune won't still make sense. I'm disturbed. You're ridiculous. That's what you are. You're ridiculous. Hang on to the end of the video. I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get into this. I'm excited about this. I mean, it's, it's an F ton of chicken. That's that's what it is. And it's covered in some broccoli and it steams. Oh my God. Yeah, let's I'm taste the sauce. Myself. Now, how bad for us could that really be? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste sweet. Exactly. By nature. But the thing is, I don't trust it, so I'm sticking with my man G Hughes right here. So, meanwhile, I'm on the fence with it, guys. No, I, I'm out. I here. mean, let's like Google ingredients in Chinese food brown sauce, because that's literally what they call everything a brown sauce. But right now, I'm just going with the bare chicken, guys. I'm going in. I'm not even tasting the sauce. Of course, it's probably going to be bad. I'm Googling what's in the brown sauce. Oh I got my me God. That. Well, I, I am excited to taste the keto option. It's, it is delicious. Everybody, look right up here on my sister's face for uh, the beef and broccoli that I made using this, and it was delicious. Oh, I was just saying, what's on my face? Like you were looking, you meant like on the video. <laughs> so far, so good. No, the chicken, though it tasted like nothing, it was good. Though it tastes like nothing, it's good. It's mm -hmm. a good nothing. It's a meaty nothing. Time for the sauce. I go from being embarrassed to being grateful so quick. Exactly. So we can do salt. We can do That's salt. Encouraging. Yeah, and so duck sauce, water, corn syrup out the window. Like, no. And duck sauce is my favorite. <laughs> okay, mustard, water, mustard, starch. Why, Lord? Okay, guys, I'm putting the G Hughes teriyaki sauce on the chicken. See, the difference between me and my sister is she puts it on the chicken, I have it on my plate. Oh my gosh, you guys. Meat. Comment down below. Are you team like cover or are you team dip? I'm team dunk in. So I, I am control. team bathe your your I'm food team. in the condiment. I'm team dunk. How are we even related right now? The appropriate amount. Okay, of I'm gonna try the teriyaki with the girl. Me too. The, the broccoli. Okay. Go in. Oh, but I'm dunk. going with a piece of chicken. Too. Okay, go for it. 
definitely makes it doable. I mean, for it, sure. It takes it back to like, okay, now we're eating at a Chinese restaurant. Definitely. You know? I mean, this is ridiculous. It's like a quart of sauce. Yeah, it's just the sauce. I'm like, where was they gonna put all that on? <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. But it is good. If the ketogenic diet was my everyday diet, I would be like more than satisfied with this. And I feel like I'm sure it cheated, none of that, especially with the barbecue sauce. So. Teriyaki sauce. Whatever. I'm grateful. The chicken's a little bit slimy. You know, not slimy, just like there's no texture. I mean, it's steamed. Yeah, they like boiled it. I mean, it's yeah. just boiled chicken, you know? It is made to be covered in a sauce. So, you guys, this G Hughes uh, teriyaki marinade, I got this at Meyer. They have it pretty much at all the grocery stores. It was like $3 for this bottle, so that's not bad. And for a tablespoon, it is one gram of total and net carbs. So, that's really not bad. Like, I probably just had a tablespoon with what I've had. So, you could definitely get out of this whole meal. A tablespoon's a serving? Yeah. Okay. You could probably get through this whole meal like six to eight net carbs, depending on how saucy you like your stuff. How many net carbs does this have in it? So the chicken has zero, which is good. The broccoli, the amount of broccoli that we have probably has like eight total carbs and four net carbs. That would put this whole meal at eight to 12 or 10 to 12 net carbs. And like, this is somebody's dinner. My whole thing is like, they do be giving you like the flimsiest forks on the face of the earth though. I just don't have nothing else to say besides I agree because I'm wrestling to secure my food on the fork. <laughs> that was a water chestnut. Oh, it is a water chestnut. No, we, hate... we don't mess with water chestnuts. Water chestnuts are why do they even make those? Oh my god. They don't make, they grow them. It's like an actual food. Lord? <laughs> why? Why did you do it? I'm not gonna question you, Lord. <laughs> okay guys, we have come to the portion of the meal that my sister loves the most, and it is the fortune cookie portion. The ingredients. I can't be the only one. Bleached wheat flour, sugar, water, soybean lecithin, soybean oil, sodium bicarbonate. Lord Jesus. A close friend reveals a hidden talent in bed. Tell me it doesn't make sense. Watch out for y'all's friends. Tell, tell me it doesn't. A close friend reveals a hidden talent in bed. Do they reveal it to you in bed though? Maybe they just reveal a hidden talent and then they tell you about it. I, mean, I can get down with y'all's close friends. No, the specifics <laughs> are all here nor there. I'm just saying it makes sense. A good home is happiness in bed. I mean, that's actually very true. Happiness in bed equals a good home. That's literally the only criteria. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clean this up here yes. and we'll meet you in the car. Okay guys, we are back in the car. Overall, Amber, what did you think? I'm definitely fuller and more satisfied to be completely honest. Then you were at Smashburger? I think it's because I didn't get the right toppings on my burger. Mm. I, and I didn't get a burger, I got chicken. Oh, yeah. And with yeah. here, there was just more food to eat. You're right. There was a lot more food. It's filling, I yes. think. I don't necessarily think it was better. Oh, okay. More flavorful. Okay. Like the smash burger was more flavorful got to me. Got it. Because that's exactly what I was going to say. I was like, smash burger taste wise, out of the park. Way like, better. The thing I liked more about smash burger is you're able to more get the things as they are. Like, literally, the only change that we had to make at smash burger was no bun yeah but like everything else was already keto yeah. whereas here sauce on the side taking out or not eating most of the vegetables having things no dry rice. yeah it's just like whoa that's a lot and you know uh, G Hughes has not only teriyaki but he also has like an orange ginger sauce too so okay. it's just like you can have like different sauce options. I'm a f I've, I've became a fan of G Hughes today too. So yeah, I, I mean, or you could take that 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 is just meat and vegetables. You could cover that in barbecue sauce. Exactly. Like you can cover that in anything that you want. Yeah. You know. Yep. So I had a great time. Like I agree. We can't wait to do this again. Speaking of that. Speaking of that. Where should we go next? Maybe I'm gonna put a poll. Maybe just comment in the comments down below. Uh, what type of restaurant should we go to next? Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe and video with my sister. What are you looking for? A rogue zip fizz that might have. <laughs> <that might> have... <laughs> I saw this bad boy and I just knew that a zip fizz no, couldn't be far away. No, but that's my emergency fair. car opener. I used it this morning. Emergency so. car, like psycho. <laughs> <laughs> You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Gosh, the sun is shining on us, and I can't see a damn thing. This lighting. Yeah, this is... Oh my god.
gosh. Edges. No. Recording? Yeah. No, we're not. Yes, we are. The little oh. red record thing is oh there. God. And have you been making sure to look into the lens I've and not at better. yourself? I've done better. Okay, that's lens. good. I haven't really been paying no, attention, so.